Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak Cause I got it like that, I was in my hi my lovelies welcome or welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing amazingly well so in today's video we're going to be talking about perfumes that i will never ever repurchase but before i start this video please make sure you're subscribed to my channel kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is <laughs> now there are loads of perfumes in my collection. I think I counted about 400 now. And I could not believe I had that many. I thought I had like over 300 or so. But I have about 400. And there's so many perfumes that I've either not reached for, I don't like anymore, the hype has gone down for me, or I just feel like they're too expensive. I just want to kind of downsize as well. And I don't want to overconsume. And I want to get to use all of my perfumes. I have 10 perfumes here that i will never ever 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 repurchase again starting with baccarat rouge 540 by maison francis coq de jean do i love this perfume yes am i obsessed with this perfume heck yes but i will never buy it again because almost everyone has this perfume i smell this perfume everywhere and i don't really care for that that's not the reason i want to declutter the clutter no 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 that's not the <laughs> that is not the reason i will never repurchase this i am just done with this dna for right now you know i much prefer the extract which i have in my collection so i much prefer this one this one i will forever and ever repurchase now i describe baccarat rouge as a sugary sweet ambery um fluffy like marshmallowy it's just a different type of scent i feel like baccarat rouge should be a description of its own because nothing really smells like this when this first came out we had never smelled anything like this i still i still stand on the fact that this is an iconic perfume an iconic perfume of our time it is a beauty i'm not ever going to take that away from this perfume but once this juice is done I will not repurchase it again. So that is Baccarat Rouge 540. The next perfume I will never repurchase is Lost Cherry by Tom Ford. And I know you guys are thinking, are these always recommending this perfume? Yes, I do recommend it because I think it's the cherry perfume. Like there's so many cherry perfumes that have come after this and I still have not measured up to the beauty that this perfume is. Lost Cherry is a boozy cherry, sour cherry, sweet cherry. All the cherries are in here. The longevity on this is very, very annoying. It doesn't last long. And for the price that I've paid for this 100 mil, the longevity is really lacking and it's super annoying. But my main reason for not repurchasing this perfume is because of its price. And the fact that it doesn't last long it lasts longer now than when i first got it because obviously it's had time to sit it's macerated it smells better it lasts a little bit longer but still i would never go out without taking a huge decant with me when i wear lost cherry it's forever going to be my favorite cherry perfume but the longevity is lacking and the price is just too much matter of fact there's a lot of tom ford perfumes in my collection i say a lot i've only got three other ones but i would not repurchase them really because they are just too expensive for what they are i feel like with tom ford you are paying for the name as opposed to the scent like the bottles are okay there's nothing extra about their bottles it's just a pretty standard square bottle so it's not like you're paying for the packaging you're just literally paying for tom ford i just wouldn't buy this anymore i actually got 100 mil because i knew that it doesn't last because i could have got the 50 ml but i had to get the 100 to make it last a bit longer i don't think i have that much left i think i'm over halfway done once this is done it is over for lost cherry by tom ford next is the fenty perfume edp this perfume is so unique and when i first smelled this perfume 
i thought it was so weird i thought this this is not me this smells i just couldn't place it i just referred to it as a dodgy <laughs> a dodgy perfume but after some time went by i went into rv nichols i smelled it again and i thought hmm this is kind of nice and i was with my husband at the time who it's not easily impressed by perfumes because it smells perfumes on me all day every day and it smells a variety of perfumes so when he said what did you just wear i was like fenty so he smelled it on me again and he was like ah, you need to buy it you need to buy this one now so that kind of pushed me to buy it um i do love it i do love it but i have to be in the mood for it i can only describe this perfume as like a earthy rose with a touch of something i don't want to say sweet maybe musky it's just a very rose forward perfume it's earthy it's a little a little bit green but it's like it's just such a unique um take on a rose scent it's very unique it's very different if you want to smell different definitely get your nose on this one i know a lot of people don't like this perfume i know more people that don't like it than the people that do now the longevity on this fenty perfume i'm talking nine to ten hours you don't need to take a decant you don't even need to overspray in fact i would advise you not to overspray this perfume because it's very very polarizing it's literally it stings the nose when you overspray it but aside from that i just feel like it's not a perfume i'm gonna run out easily because you don't need to overspray it it's a perfume that i have to be in the mood for so that means i'm not going to wear it that often and also there are certain places i just wouldn't wear this perfume i feel like it's i have to literally sit down and think okay where am i going what do i need to wear what am i wearing on the day who am i going to be around am i going to go to work am i going to be in meetings am i going to go to an event? like where would i wear this perfume and every single time i think of where to wear it i just push it back and think you know what <laughs> not today however i feel like it would be good for a date night but not for a first date second date you have to have been with the guy for a long time so in case the guy don't like it he can be honest with you and tell you that this perfume doesn't smell very nice but on a first date that may just put the person off you completely so definitely thread carefully with this perfume but i do love it i just have to be in the mood for it and i will never buy it again because it's very very difficult to wear so that is fenty or the perfume so the next perfume is <laughs> delina by performs the mali and the reason why i will never buy this again is because i love delina exclusive i feel like I don't need Delina anymore. I love Delina. Don't get it twisted. I am obsessed with Delina. I wear Delina a lot, especially during the spring and summer. I also have a 30 ml bottle of Delina that I haven't even opened. In fact, let me show you. So this is the 30 ml that I have that I've not even opened. So I've got about maybe 50 ml left in here and another 30 ml. That's 80 ml left. I don't see me going through delina anytime soon plus we get spring and summer here in the uk for maybe a month in total so i'm definitely unless i go on holiday then i'll definitely take delina with me because the compliment beast but in terms of repurchasing it i think i'm gonna leave it here once this one and this one is done i don't need to have delina anymore because i'm very content with my delina exclusive so that is delina by performs the mali now the next perfume on my list is Lune Feline by Atelier des Ors. I am obsessed with this bottle. I think this is probably the most incredible bottle in my collection. The cap is heavy, the bottle is heavy, the quality of the craftsmanship on this perfume bottle is unbelievable and i think i said bottle twice anyhow this is a magnificent bottle a fantastic perfume that isn't for everybody now i i'm always warning people that the opening of this perfume is incredibly challenging because it's got a really strong like burning smoky very very smoky in the opening really smoky the cardamom is very heavy is bitter it's a really strange opening because i did not like the opening of this perfume but the dry down is everything now this is a super super spicy vanilla that smells so unique to any vanilla you have ever smelled i feel like there are other vanillas in my perfume collection that i will most 
likely repurchase but loon feline is not going to be one of them because again the longevity is crazy but i never know when to wear this and this i can only wear during the not even autumn i'll say winter season is the only time i really pull for loon feline now you can see i don't really have a dent in this perfume because i don't wear it much because even when i do wear it i don't need a lot of it because it gets really polarizing for me it gets very very too powerful in fact for me and i love me a powerful perfume but this kind of it's a little bit much at times so i won't be repurchasing it for that reason and i'm never i'm always gonna say this i'm never gonna declutter this and i'm not gonna declutter on a deal either because i know some people do that over here i'm not going to declutter <laughs> on a deal i am going to keep this perfume until i'm done with it i just won't buy it again i also will never chuck the bottle this is going to remain in my collection somewhere i may just put it up as a decor on my vanity table or something because i think the bottle is a masterpiece i also think the perfume is a masterpiece so that is lune feline by atelier des Ors. the next perfume on my list is scherzo by mila aris i cannot buy this perfume again my daughter hates it <laughs> my princess doesn't like this perfume my husband detest this perfume no one in my family likes this perfume and i love it i love it but because i'm always hanging with my family i can't seem to wear this perfume the only time i can wear it is when i'm on my own but i kid you not this is one of my most complimented perfumes i'm telling you this perfume projects this is a sweet woody perfume that smells quite woody like really really woody you get the sweet notes you get the oud is super super forward i wouldn't say this is the most friendliest of oud i feel like ouds such as oud satin mood and oud bouquet those are really really sweet syrupy sweet ouds this one is a little bit dry so on the drier side but it's very very lovely it gives me a Middle Eastern vibe. It feels like a perfume that people in Dubai would wear because of the strength and the projection and the longevity. It's got everything rolled into one. I do love it, but I'm never, ever, ever, ever going to buy it again because no one, literally when I wear this, they're holding their nose like that. Like, mom, what are you wearing? So yes, sadly, skirt. So once it's done, <laughs> If I can get it to be done, I won't be buying it again. So that is Skirtso by Mila Aris. It's so nice though. The next perfume on my list is New York Nights by Bond number no. 9. Ah, this perfume. <laughs> this perfume I still have. This is 100 mil and I believe I still have at least 90 mil left. I have had this perfume in my collection for... Mm, maybe about three years no, no not three years i mean maybe like two years and a bit and i love it it's a very very unique it's a gourmand it's a very heavy gourmand you get caramel you get a lot of sweetness you get some sea notes that gives it a slight sort of salty vibe this perfume is very different it's very different it's got a ton of notes that i can't remember on the top of my head but what i get is a lot of caramel um, I do get the freshness, not so freshness, I want to say saltiness and a kind of marine smelling scent from this perfume. It projects, it lasts long. There's nothing wrong with it, but sometimes, sometimes it can be way too sweet and I, I can't do it sometimes. And I can only wear this in the autumn and winter season as well. I think I want to start adding perfumes that I can wear all year round and this one is not an all year round perfume at all it is best for the colder months and i feel like yeah i'm probably never ever gonna run out of this because there's just a lot of perfume in here i have a ton of perfume there is no need to repurchase this perfume because i just don't know if i'll ever get through it and sometimes i think it was last year winter i was going out and i sprayed this perfume i think it was snowing actually it's very slightly um snowing on that day and i was smelling it on myself and i actually came back home to take my clothes off and to wear something else because it was it was really getting to me to the point where i was thinking am i pregnant because <laughs> that that's not possible by the way but i was like am i pregnant i never say never I have to wear, what am i even saying <laughs> but for real i can't 
I just can't get with it all the time. I just think it can be a little bit much. And this is someone that loves sweet perfumes. But in this case, I feel like I'm never ever going to buy it again. Not saying I don't love it. Come this win um, winter, I'm still going to put it in my top 10 winter list because I do think it's a lovely scent. But if you can get yourself a 50 mil, I think that's more than enough. Um, I went overboard with the 100 mil. I did not need this um, to be this big. But it's a lovely scent that I'm never, ever going to repurchase again. So that is New York Night by Bond number no. 9. Next on my list is Burning Love Fest Burning Cherry 48 by Kayali. Now this one has a note of burning cherry, raspberry, praline, palo santo, guyacud and patchouli. I will always love the fact that the notes are written at the back of the bottle. Thank you so much for doing this Kayali. I think every brand should be doing that. I think some brands have done it like before and I think people are bringing it back again. So I think perfume bottles going forward will be having notes at the back of them. But anyway, love fest burning cherry is the only Kayali I rarely reach for. I reach for every single one of my Kayali at least twice or three times a week, but I never ever touch Love Fest. I think this dent has been this dent for like the last few months and I just don't gravitate towards it. I won't declutter it because I feel like there will be times where I would want to reach for it, but I tend to reach for more of my Lush Cherry and my Rouge Smoking when I want to smell um, like cherries, I just never ever touch um, Love Fest Burning Cherry. And I feel like it's just going to sit in my collection until I can finish it. And then when it's done, I won't be needing it anymore in my collection. So yeah, that is Love Fest Burning Cherry by Keali. The next perfume on my list is Side Effect by Initio. And I know this is going to come as a surprise because you guys know how much I love this perfume. This is cinnamon. This is spices. This is vanilla. This is a strong, smoky, boozy, super addictive. I love initial perfumes. But again, it's one that I just don't reach for and I can't seem to wear it alone. I always have to pair it with Angel Share by Killian because I feel like on its own, it's amazing. Like, don't play about with the longevity of this. This is beast mode. This project, this has everything. I need in my perfume but I always always seem to want to layer it with Angel Share because they just give a completely different vibe like I can wear Angel Share alone but I can't wear this one alone so I feel like once this is done I won't repurchase it just to layer it with Angel Share like I said I can wear this alone but this one it's just giving, I may actually give this one to my husband because it smells really, really good on him. But yeah, side effect is beautiful. I think I'm more of a atomic rose kind of girl. I think I'm more of a psychedelic love kind of girl. I think that side effect is also, I find it leans a little bit masculine. I think that's another issue that I have with it is giving a little bit of a masculine vibe. So if you're kind of like into that kind of scent, the boozy, the strong, the powerful, the vanillic, the cinnamon kind of scent, you are going to love side effect. I still love this perfume, but once it's done, it's done. So we've got two more perfumes left. And the next one is Alien by Mugla. This perfume was a hate for me when I first smelled it. I thought it was vile. I thought it was disgusting. I just thought, what is this floral mess? And I did not like it. But tell me why I smelled this lady after I dropped my, my kids at school. And this was many years ago, by the way. And the lady told me that she was wearing um alien after i stopped her it's like alien by who and then she goes mugla i said never <laughs> it cannot be anyhow on that same day i purchased this perfume and i've not been able to get enough of it since i've been saving it because i think i have just about 20 mil left of this perfume they don't make it like this no more they've made they've changed the formulation it's not as potent it's not as powerful it still smells the same but the power is gone and that's why i love this it is powerful it's a very heavy jasmine super super floral scent with no amount of sweetness it's just super floral but people are gonna know when you walk into the room because it projects like it literally infect the whole room with its scent because it's so so strong and i love it for that reason but i'm never gonna buy the new formulation because it's not as good in my opinion 
as the old formulation and i know a lot of people prefer the new formulation because people found this one to be too polarizing just too much just too strong but the reason i love it is because it's too strong so sadly i will not be repurchasing it because they don't make it like this no more no more <laughs> no more <laughs> lord have mercy and last but not least is a chloe nomad absolute i remember when i bought this perfume a few years ago i really really enjoyed it but i could only wear it to work and then covid hit when i've had this before covid i think i've had it since 2020 or like late 2019 and i can tell you i've not reached for it that many times because i used to want to wear this to work and i just don't wear it to work and times that i want to go to work now i'm just thinking to wear my most complimented perfume and this this is not my most complimented perfume i smell nice wearing this like it's a mossy earthy it's got some um fruity undertones but it's a very green um leafy just not the most common smelling scent it's very unique in its own right i find it to be quite mature smelling it puts me in the same mindset as um chanel coco mademoiselle they don't smell alike but they give me the same vibes they give me like this is strictly for a serious event like you have to be in a boardroom or you are going for an interview it's not there's nothing fun about this perfume it's just very straightforward very I don't know it's not like sweet and feminine and flirty like that's the kind of vibe i'm in at the moment the soft life i'm loving i'm just loving sweeter more fun smelling perfume and this definitely likes it i feel like i'm going to be what's that i feel like i'm going to be in that era for a very long time and this is just not me anymore i'm not going to declutter it that's for sure actually maybe i will because i've not worn this perfume in about a year if not more than that i've not worn this in a very long time and i don't see me wearing it for a long time so this may actually get decluttered i'll see how i feel about it but if you're looking for a unique scent that you can wear to work every day a more of a it could actually serve as a signature scent not for me though but it can serve as a signature scent because it lasts long it's not offensive but it's very serious it's a serious smelling perfume so that is chloe nomad absolute so my lovelies that is it for today's video comment down below a perfume or perfumes that you will never ever repurchase again leave your comments down below thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye